Hotep. Uh, my name is Ram Hotep, broadcasting on behalf of 13signsastrology.com. What are my views on marriage? How do I look at marriage from an occult standpoint? Um, there's many ways to look at marriage. Um, you could look at marriage from a historical point of view. You can look at marriage from a religious point of view. You can look at marriage from a um, spiritual point of view, an economic point of view. There's many ways to look at marriage. Um, my views on this is that ultimately, when we talk about the institution of marriage, that goes back to religion. That goes back to religion. And the institution of marriage was set up based on male patriarchy because the system of religion was based on male patriarchy. Um, let me do a little bit of history on religion for you. If you really research the history of religion, you'll find out that really the history of religion goes back to uh, the men going into um, Africa, men going into Africa, going back into Africa, and going into matriarchal communities and taking over these matriarchal communities and converting them to religion which was based on patriarchy. Now there were black men that partook in this and there were European men that partook in this so this is not a black or white thing and this is not a color thing. This is basically the history of religion. Um, even when you study the history of Christianity you'll find that in the history of Christianity those witches that didn't want to convert to Christianity these were women like women were basically considered witches because women when they were in rulership which was before religion women were in rulership before religion and these women were considered witches this is where you get the term Wicca from and these women were like Wiccas or witches and basically they used earth magic they, their religion if you want to call it that was really a, a cult science they dealt with a Wicca which was a cult science and they dealt with like earth magic and basically um, they didn't believe in like structure as far as like even our economic structure and all of that is based on religion because they didn't believe in going out to do anything like everything was based on living in an environment and living in a community and giving offerings um, giving offerings from the earth to various different gods or deities which were basically elemental deities like the air the fire the water and the earth so they gave offerings of air fire water and earth to these elemental deities or whatever this was their system of worship so they had a very instead of like having a system of where a bunch of people would buy up a whole bunch of food and control the land and then take this food and package it and ship it out they basically just grew, had gardens these women had gardens or whatever so it was no need for I'm talking about when matriarchy was like dominant like this is how the world was ran or whatever there was no need for like international trade and import and export and all that I mean you might have like tribes that traded amongst each other for things that they produced I'm not saying that like I'm not saying that it was just absolutely no trade what I'm saying is that our world now is based on all the food is controlled by basically a, a handful of people and pretty much you, you can't really it's against a lot of growth things pretty much all over this planet so people really don't grow things anymore. Even in Africa, even in South America and all these places, they're importing their food in. They're importing their food in. Even here in America, of course, most people are importing their food in. And this is based all on religion. So and this goes back to marriage. So I'm not getting a point. I'm going to show you why. So what happened was is that um religion was set up based on patriarchy. The first thing they had to do was overthrow the matriarchal system of economics and the, the matriarchal system of government and to do that they had to basically condemn the woman and basically enslave the woman enslave the woman and this is where you get the term marriage from because the term marriage comes from the term marry to marry somebody right but just think about it Mary and Joseph Mary Mary and Jesus Mary see Mary is dealing with a woman to female and so to marry someone is dealing with the control of a female when you say I'm going to get married typically now I know we have these different marriages in modern society and I'm not talking about that I'll do a part two to talk about that I'm talking about historically typically when you say I'm going to marry someone this basically the idea of it historically was that the woman is going to stay at home and be a housewife and basically be up under the control of a husband now let's go and break down the term husband the term husband means um, to govern. 
like a husbandman. He was one. He was a governor. It literally means to govern or a master. A husband was like a master or a governor over either some land. The original term for husband deals with basically one who uh, governed the land. This was your original uh, husband. But then the land was the woman or the earth. This is why we call her Mother Earth because even the five percenters, they call the woman the earth, like the old earth, my old earth. They call it the earth because the man or the husband governed and managed the earth. He tilled the earth. And basically this earth was his based on him being the husband. So in essence, the woman became the property of the male in marriage. I want you to think over that. The woman became the property of the male in marriage. And um, I'm not saying this to cause any type of rift between the sexes and all. I'm just telling you the true system of marriage and how it went down. So basically it originally started um, based on the control of the woman. And basically the woman was basically called a wife. Now if you look up the term wife, did you mean, that, did you know that the term wife means to veil? Like to put a veil over someone or to twist? That's what the original term wife means, to twist or to put a veil. Because they twisted and put a veil over the woman and made her into basically a wife. This was the males that did this. And these were, like I said, black males and European males. This is going back to the system of religion. See, this is where marriage comes from. Our concept of marriage comes from religion. It comes from religion. And this is something that you really have to understand and understand. So this is where you get terms like fornication and adultery and things like that. Now let's get into the political aspect of it. So now you got the, basically the man, he controls his wife through him being a husband, right? But then guess what? Now this man has to go... And legally married this woman based on a contract. That's right. Based on a contract. Meaning that he had to pay money. And this still goes on today. You got to go and pay money to go marry somebody. Because you love this person or whatever. Y'all love each other or whatever. You have to go pay money to marry them. So see how the system of marriage is based on. It's political and it's economic. And it's based on a contract. And right now the system of marriage is controlled by the state. In the United States of America. The system of marriage is controlled by a state. Because you have to get a marriage certificate. Basically, you have to go get permission from the government to basically have sex. That's how it was. You had to have permission from the government to have sex. And if you didn't, it was called fornication and adultery. And really, if you want to go deep back into the term fornication, the original fornicators were really actually the prostitutes. A fornicator was a prostitute or a group of women that would come and sex up the Romans. These were your original prostitutes, you see. So then a woman basically that wasn't married was a fornicator or a prostitute. You see how they twisted the mind of the woman? Twist. Wife. To twist. Remember I said that? See how they deal with the woman and isolated her and put her into a house? And I'm not saying she shouldn't be in the house and be a, a housewife. I think that's sexy. You know what I'm saying? A woman that like cooks and, and cleans. I'm not saying that. That's feminine. And I understand that. I mean, a man should know how to cook too, actually. But I think that's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? A woman that knows how to cook and clean. But I'm telling you, politically, this is a political idea we're speaking on now. I mean, this isn't like, don't get like individually emotional about this. This is a political concept of what they did in history with marriage and how the history of marriage was based on control. This is what I'm trying to get you to see. And it's based on economic and government control by government. And not even by government, but by a group of men that you have to go get a license from to basically get married. Now, let me break something else down to you. A lot of people don't know this. Now, really, now I know we had marriage in ancient cultures. Now, I know you're going to say, well, well Ram Hotel. I mean, you're saying that uh, marriage is this and marriage is that, but marriage goes back before Christianity and all that. I mean, they had marriages in, in the, the Ifa, the Yoruba culture, and, and the ancient Egyptians. I mean, they had marriages, and like, well, they didn't use that term marriage, and this is where you see, this is why you, you don't know language. So it's like you don't even know which terms they were using because they had more of like consorts, and we translate that the same. Uh, wives and husbands and they were married and stuff like that but these are all new terms wives and husbands that go back no more than the 1500s and stuff this came out these terms came out fornication adultery wives husbands marriage mary this is all based on religion right this is called mary you know what i'm saying virgin mary because the ideal woman of mary was a virgin because it's all based on the woman did you know the term virginity technically a male isn't can't be a virgin because the term virginity is based on when the woman, her, when she, basically the, the skin that protects the woman so that when you penetrate a woman that's a virgin, you have to break through that skin. And that's how you know she's a virgin because you have to break through that skin. So basically, the woman, when she broke that skin, that's when you consecrated the marriage. This was consecrating the marriage because really, virgins were supposed to get married. This is where you get the term virgin married from. You see, people need to wake up to these things. So... 
Um, I know I only have 15 minutes, so I'm going to try to wrap this up, and I'll do a part two if you guys want me to, but I'm just trying to point out a few things. So marriage is based on the control of the woman. It's an economic, political tactic that was based on controlling the woman because the reason why is because, remember, I told you in the beginning that these women, that m most of your heyday of society before religion was like, as far as your, like, big-time society and your heyday of society, like, like, you know how America and the Western world and Europe is basically, like, the hey, it's like the peak of society right now. Well, at one point, Africa was the peak of society. Africa was the peak of society. And basically, they had to go into Africa and pillage Africa. And they had to pillage Africa. They had to control the woman because the Africa dealt with a system of matriarchy. Now, this didn't mean that the males were punks. Oh, no, the males wasn't punks in Africa. But it wasn't based on the woman was the, basically the ruler. Based on, there's a reason for that too. I can break that down in another video. It's a deep reason why the woman was the ruler in Africa. A scientific reason. It's not just some talk. You know what I'm saying? It was a reason why she was the, the uh, ruler in Africa. So when the religious nuts, which were black males too, you know what I'm saying, which were Europeans and different skin colors, these people that want to break away from matriarchy, see, they came out. And they came out of Africa and then they went back into Africa as religious nuts because the Catholic Church and all these things were, there were black people like St. Augustine. He was black. He was a part of the uh, Council of Nicaea, St. Augustine. This was a black man, a Moorish man. And then these people went back into Africa and basically enslaved the Africans and had to enslave the woman and put her into a system of marriage and made her look like a prostitute if she had sex outside of if she didn't have a piece of paper or a contract. This happened over a year's time or whatever, but made her look like a, a whore basically because she didn't have a piece of paper saying that she was married which was based on political control because they had to break down the system of matriarchy so that they could introduce religion so that they can take control of the land. And the first part of the land that they had to take control of was the old earth, like the five percenters day, the woman, the, uh, the moon, the earth. The moon came from the earth. So the woman, this all goes back to the earth. This is why the woman is called the moon because the moon came from the earth. So they had to go back and take down the matriarchal gods and put up patriarchal gods. See, the matriarchal gods go back before the patriarchal gods, believe it or not. The matriarchal gods are older than the patriarchal gods. So this is where your system of marriage came from. And it really got deep in Roman times. They were the ones that really, did, I mean, like, I mean, that, that was like kind of deep or whatever for like in the Moors time or whatever. They had a lot to do with it too because Moors were patriarchal, a lot of them. But when the Romans came in, they really... You know what I'm saying? They really went into Africa and was just pillaging and taking over, taking control of the woman. You know what I'm saying? So that's where marriage um, comes from. So my views on marriage is this. As far as from a standpoint of if you love someone, and like in this new age, and this is why in the new age, let me point this out really quick. Because I only got a few minutes. This is why in the new age now, in our modern time, women don't really like too much getting married anymore. I'm talking about the younger women. And you hear people say, well, how come it ain't like the old days where the woman stay at home and cook and the man go home to work? And you know what I'm saying? And bring his money back home or whatever and just take care of the family. How come it ain't like that no more? And that's cool. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying, I'm not against that. I think that's beautiful. Like, uh, like that system. I think that's beautiful. But what happened was that... That these, this control and all the stuff I spoke of, how the woman was basically took in control of, this went down into the younger women. So these younger women, especially these, these women that were born after 1970, a lot of them, they really weren't. And even like in your women's lead movement and all that, even though women's rights was funded by a male. So I, will, I do have to say that the femininity movement was funded by a male. So I'm not for the femininity movement. I'm letting y'all know that. I'm not for that movement now. But I'm trying to point out something on a metaphysical level. I'm not for it. I have a right to speak my opinion, but I'm not for the women's lib movement or the femininity movement. I'm not for it, okay? Because it's politically, that was a political move for a male from the, that was funded by males too, though. See, man, they was playing both sides, but I'm trying to show you these women that wanted to break free from that institution of control and the control of a man and want to go out and work and be independent was based on a metaphysical reason because over time, their ancestors, their, the female matriarchs, were taken off of their power seat and control and enslaved under males under the term husband. These women were enslaved, so then that birthed the generation of women that basically, in this modern time, don't want to get married. And this is why you have all this new age stuff going on or whatever as far as people not really wanting to get married and things of this nature. This is based on his history and um, memory, past life memory. So these younger women or whatever, that's why they don't want to get married because the system of marriage is based on male dominance and male control. It's based on male dominance and male control. And there's political reasons. So basically, to make this video short, I'm, I'll do a part two if you want me to, because my time is basically up. Um, I'm not really for marriage, uh, as far as going down and getting a marriage certificate and getting married. I think that's BS. I think that's based on control of the matrix. I don't think it's cool. 
Um, I think if you really love someone, you should look for your soulmate. This is what I'm about. I'm about soulmates and twin flames and stuff and about love. So if you love someone, you should get married. I mean, you should basically have your own marriage at home or whatever. You guys are really married once you have sex really believe it or not because of the attachment that you have it's an emotional etheric attachment this is from an occult standpoint now you guys are married once you have sex whether you believe it or not especially once you have a child with someone you are married to them and that's my views on marriage so um i'm going to do a part two on this um i thank you for watching this video and i'll look out for part two peace